Grim Dawn continues to surprise me, and even with the release of Diablo 2 Resurrected recently, it still has my full attention and appears to be attracting new players still. So here are 5 further tips for new players to Grim Dawn in 2021 and even 2022. Tip number 1. Augments and Components Components should be used all the time to boost your statistics and improve your gear. Later in the game, when you're able to purchase from factions, you should enhance your gear further with augments too. These augments can be thought of as components on steroids, and you can use both components and augments on items at the same time. These augments are extremely useful in lifting those resistances or improving overall damage output. You will want to look around at all the factions and know the augments that interest you and then focus on raising your reputations high enough to purchase. Tip number two, reputations. Grim Dawn has many factions which you will assist whilst playing the game and the more you help them, the more you'll be able to purchase from them. Amongst other things, they sell fairly decent gear, sought after blueprints and augments. Remember that each faction has its own inventory and so you'll want to choose the one you're interested in for your character and focus on them. To help you gain reputation faster, you can purchase writs and mandates. Writs are soulbound where mandates can be sent to other characters via the shared inventory to assist new character reputation gains. Reputations of your enemies are also important to mention as the more hated you become with them, the more enemies they'll throw at you. Enemy pack sizes and difficulties will increase and if you achieve nemesis status of any of them on occasion and very randomly, they will send a nemesis boss at you to dispatch you. Tip number three. Trading rare components at the Necropolis. Rare crafting materials can be used to create some of the best gear in the game, whether that be relic, high level components, weapons or armor. However, some of those materials take time to gather as their drop rates can be really low. Thankfully, there is a solution to get some of these components easier. If you go to the Necropolis and find Horus, the cursed smith, you can trade ancient hearts, blood of Cthulhu, and tainted brain matter for one of the aforementioned with a little bit of iron as part of the trade. Tip number four, the blacksmith bonuses. Each blacksmith in the game has a unique imbue that applies to items they craft. Just like factions and their vendors, you want to take note of what blacksmiths work best for you for your build and use them when you create your items, rather than just the closest one to you. To see the blacksmith bonuses, highlight next to the combine button. And finally, tip number five, choosing Death's Vigil or Kaimon's Chosen. This is a choice you will need to make in the game and it is to choose between Death's Vigil or Kaimon's Chosen as a faction to side with, with the other to go to war with. Death's Vigil focuses on cold, vitality and pet damage, while Kaimon's Chosen focuses on physical, fire and lightning damage. Each difficulty level you have the option to change who you're siding with and in doing so reset the faction reputations you've made along the way. The only caveat to this is if you have selected to play a Necromancer, Kaimon's Chosen will not allow you to side with them, which is actually a really nice touch and goes along with the lore of the game. So those are my 5 further tips for Grim Dawn to new players. Do you agree with them or do you disagree with them? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, stay safe everyone.